Hi, my name is Allie Bear, and I'm the Floor Program Manager at Adventure Science Center. And the Floor Program Manager role falls under the Experience and Collaboration Department. And so the experience is what is really important for me when I'm managing my team. And the floor program is any really activity or a demonstration that's done on the gallery floors where there is not already a permanent exhibit. We do try to use the permanent exhibits as kind of a stepping stone and then we use our activities and demonstrations to supplement what we already have in our museum since we already have a lot of great content. Aside from the activities and demonstrations that we do on the gallery floor, I also manage some of the exhibits that need staffed constantly, which is our Moonwalk and our Bluemax exhibits. I also manage our adventure guides who are floor presenters. Our adventure guides help with our live science programs, which are our 15 to 20 minute live science shows that we do on our One. science stage on the gallery floor. And our adventure guides also help out with early explorer story time, which is special programming that we do on Monday mornings, especially for early learners who are six years old or younger. And so that is a reoccurring program that we do this every is a week. Planet. It is blue and it is green. Does anyone know the planet I'm talking about? Earth, yeah, I heard it right over there. That's exactly right. When we start planning for an early explorer story time, there's a lot more that goes into it than just reading a story. So again, we come up with themes about a month in advance and we pick out stories for the next four or five Mondays that uh, kind of go along with each other, keep a, a solid theme. For example, this month's theme is space. So each week we do, we touch on something different about space that may be interesting um, to that age group, so six years old and younger. Uh, not only is the story projected on the screen, so they can follow along with the story and the pictures, but we include other aspects um, as well, such as music. Sometimes we'll even perform the story in the way of a puppet show or um, a play as well. Uh, and then after the story, we invite the families to stay and do some kind of hands-on activity with us as well, just to go along with that story. Things that the kids can take away, sometimes um, even continue the learning at home. We'll give them materials that they can do something at home to continue with what they learned here at the Science Center. Um, and all of that planning sometimes takes one week, sometimes two weeks. There's a lot of preparation beforehand, getting the materials together, setting up the stage the day of, and again, we work very uh, closely together with each other to make that happen. So not only do I help to develop the programming and the scripts and the performances, but as a manager, I also have to make my team schedules, break schedules, um, work schedules, and just be on call in case they need anything. So um, I also just want to make sure that my team is supported in any way possible. Uh, so there are a lot of different responsibilities in being a manager. Hi, my name is Matt Stapleton and I am an exhibit technician here at the Adventure Science Center. We are often asked what our job entails and the honest answer is quite a lot. So I'm going to run you through a, kind of a quick summary of everything that it is we do. So the first thing is in the morning, we come in and we turn on all of the lights and the breakers uh, to make sure that we can see everything clearly, uh, but that is a very easy indicator if something does not come on that we have a problem. Uh, but fortunately, that is usually a very easy step. Uh, after that, uh, we go through and check all of the exhibits. So we interact with each one individually to make sure that they are doing exactly what they're supposed to. Uh, again, this is another screening of if something's wrong, this is usually where we find it. Uh, we try to do this in the two hours before we open to the public to make sure that we have plenty of time to fix anything that we might need to. 
Uh, we also have uh, our uh, operational exhibits. Uh, if you've been here before, there's a good chance that you've seen Moonwalk, EVA, or Blue Max. These are the rides that our guests are able to ride. And these have a very specific startup process. Uh, they have to be calibrated in a very specific way. Uh, so they have a very special startup procedure. Uh, so with Moonwalk and EVA, if you've ever uh, been on those, uh, Moonwalk especially is testing to see or to show you uh, what it would be like to walk in one-sixth of the Earth's gravity on the moon. So when you come in, you are strapped in a harness, and as you walk, it takes you up and down. Uh, when we test it, we test with a 90-pound cement bucket, uh, which is the approximate weight of your average child. Uh, but this allows us to get some decent weight on this to make sure that it goes up and down. We push it back and forth uh, to make sure that everything sounds and moves the way that it should. Uh, which is a lot of fun. Uh, with Blue Max, that one is also fun because we get to take it up. Uh, if you've been in that one, you know that it is either a roller coaster or a flight simulator. And it is a big pod on an arm that flips upside down. Uh, it is fully directional in two different directions uh, to simulate the roller coaster perfectly. Uh, when we take that up, uh, we have full control over the direction that it goes. Uh, which allows us to test it at varying speeds uh, and in varying positions to make sure that it is uh, balanced properly so that it can, in fact, hold people. Beyond that, when we do have things that break, and this is where the job gets really wide because all of these exhibits have probably five different ways that they could break. So it's usually not the same thing and it's not always the same amount of time. Uh, so these are just a couple of the things that we go through. Um, we do not have time for me to list all of them. Uh, there is quite a lot, but it keeps things really, really fun. Sometimes it is the mechanical side where it is physical parts that you're dealing with. Sometimes it's electrical, uh, sometimes it's lights, sound. Uh, there are so many different things and the various things that we do in this building is one of the reason why I enjoy this job so much is it's something different every day. Um, in addition to the exhibits and the building startup, our job is also supporting other departments as they need it. Uh, so if anyone needs help with uh, audiovisual support or setting up tables for an event or tents outside, um, it truly is a very wide range of things. Uh, some of the things officially fall under our <laughs> department description, uh, but when you work in an environment like this, um, things work so much better when everyone is able to help out in the areas that they need it, and we are able to just kind of get along and figure out what needs to be done, and we do it all together. One of the cool things about being in a position like this is how you get a position like this. Uh, everyone in my department comes from a slightly different background uh, with varying levels of education and experience. And so at this point, I have been here for three years. So one year in the guest services and two years here as an exhibit technician. Uh, and I really have picked up a lot. Uh, you don't always have to have all of the information for something that you are interested in or would like to do. Um, but showing that you are able to learn, eager to learn, and dependable and reliable is incredibly helpful. Hi, I'm Bethany with the Adventure Science Center and I am the Learning and Outreach Manager for the Adventure Science Center. Before I got this position, I actually started off as a summer camp counselor a few years ago. I ended up being a part of this amazing team of learning specialists who are the educators here for the Adventure Science Center. So the learning specialists are the teachers who see you when you get off the bus, when you come for a field trip, or who are the ones that come to your school and do outreaches. And we get to teach a lot of the fun programming we host here at the Adventure Science Center, like our space programming. We build roller coasters here. We also do a lot of chemistry. We have a lot of fun and do blow things up occasionally. In my new position as the Learning and Outreach Manager, I get to be a part of the conversations and do the paperwork and crunch the numbers. But we're excited to host the next 75 years and looking to the future, we're going to do a lot more virtual programming. So we're going to bring the ASC into your home 
via studio filming, which is going to be a lot of fun. So check that out and wait for that to come see. But here at the Science Center, we are three floors of hands-on, minds-on ex exploration of science. We do everything from space to the body. We do dissections here, and we have a lot of fun. And Welcome to the Adventure Science Center, and we hope to see you soon.